All right, folks, welcome back. I was outside shooting uh, this video, and it was just got so windy outside that you couldn't hear me, so I thought I'd come inside and shoot this video. Please pardon the mess on the bench back here. I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm preparing for a backpacking trip, so I got stuff just scattered everywhere. So, anyway, nevertheless, I thought we'd talk about a cooler product um, that's, I thought it's kind of neat, and it's, you know, I think it's fun for everybody. So, let's check it out. This is called the Pocket Shot. Now, anybody that's been around the bushcraft community for probably 10 years or so, will know that Dave Canterbury, many, many years ago, came out with what his version of what he called the sling bow. And it's basically taking a regular slingshot, like you see right here, and putting a whisker biscuit on it and whatnot, changing a few things, and you could turn the regular old slingshot into a, a bow where you can shoot arrows. So not only, you know, again, you shoot regular uh, shot, rocks, whatever, you can also shoot arrows. So fast forward a few years after you know he came out with that version, a company called the Pocket Shot came out with their version of um, basically a small little pocket slingshot, and you can kind of see right here. This is one version of it. this is kind of the original version, you know, minus the arrow. And basically, it takes these little pouches, and you put shot in there, and you just shoot it. You just hold it. Well, that's kind of neat. It's been out on the market for a few years now, and I thought that was kind of neat. Well, this version here, this is one of their newer versions. And it's more set up along the lines of the regular uh, slingshot type that I like because you put your hand up in here and you have a you know, handle you can grip and you put in there and just you know shoot stuff. And I think you get more accuracy with this versus their original pocket shot version. But as you see right here on the table, I've got a lot of different things. So <clears throat> the pocket shot itself, it comes with different or you can get different pouches right so it comes with these black pouches on here and these black pouches is what they call their standard pouch and their standard pouch shoots um, about 300 feet per second and I have no way of checking that so I'm just gonna have to take the company's word for it but I can tell you shooting just regular round shot out of these things it just screams through the woods just like a regular slingshot would and then you have these blue pouches and these blue pouches they say they call their the pro pouch they say those will shoot up to about 350 feet per second. So, again, I've got no way to measure that, but these are a little bit bigger than these. So, you know, maybe the longer they are, maybe you'll get more speed out of them. And then you have the red ones. And this red one is, these red ones are for shooting arrows, which is kind of neat. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So, <clears throat> again, being a slingshot, you obviously can shoot anything from round ball to, they, they have these little, these little clay Clay balls here you can shoot, you can shoot rocks, anything smooth you can shoot out of. They don't recommend shooting BBs or anything less than a quarter inch, um, but you can shoot anything, uh, again, uh, airsoft stuff, rocks, marbles, whatnot. You can go to the store, the dollar store, and buy a huge pack of marbles for a dollar. You can shoot marbles out of it. So, and you probably get about 200 to 400 shots before you have to replace this this pouch. And you, should, you can probably tell on this one here, here's... You can tell I've been shooting this one like crazy and it's, it's starting to rip. So this one's time to replace. I probably got, I don't know, probably right at 200 shots or more out of this one here. And I've been shooting rocks out of it. So the rocks kind of damaged, you know, the rubber there. But it's, it's kind of neat. <clears throat> so the original version, the regular pocket shot version, just imagine, imagine from, you looking from here up, it basically looks like this. And you would hold, hold it in your hand kind of like this try to try to imagine this is not here and you put this put your shot in here and just shoot it like that I think with this version here you get more stability and you get more accuracy out of this version which I like better these things are very easy to, to swap off or swap out all you'll do is you know you undo it unscrew your little cap here and take your little this has like a little wrench on it which is kind of cool and you just twist it and you get this to unscrew Once it's unscrewed, you'll just pull the old one off. Let me do this off camera here because looking through the camera lens. So you just pull that one off. Say you want to shoot some arrows, then you have the little, and you'll put this one on. And what you'll do is see it kind of just slides right on there, and then you just screw it back into place. Until it starts protruding through you can see it starting protruding through here and then you'll take kind of your your cap which is also kind of your little tightening wrench and you just tighten this down 
and give it a little snug, tighten it down. And then you take, if you want to shoot arrows, you take your whisker biscuit, screw your whisker biscuit on there, and now you're set up to shoot arrows. So it's kind of neat. You can, again, very versatile, which is what I like about it too. I've you know, you said, heard my videos many, many times. So the arrows here, you know, these, these are the pocket shot type arrows, and you know, they shoot pretty well. They, they work pretty well, I think, for what they are. So, yeah, I think it's kind of a cool little product. You know, I'm not getting paid or anything to, to, to endorse this or anything. I just think it's you know, a neat little product. I, I think, you know, for what it is, you know, obviously it has its pros and cons, just like anything else. I think it'd be a, you know, could you hunt with this thing? Absolutely with the, with the small, with the round shot. With the arrows, I'm not sure that you could actually hunt with it or not. Maybe you can if you get, you know, really good at it. I found it hard to got a to get a good a good steady rest every single time. Now I'm not saying that it can't be done. You you could do that if you if you shoot bows a lot. I don't shoot bow my bow much anymore, so I'm out of practice with it. As you can tell with some of the footage I'm probably rolling in here, but it will get on it will get on the block and it will you know go down range. But like I said for as far as regular shot though, you know you can shoot small game if you're going to do that. You know no problem. They also have an attachment where you can use this as, as a, a bow fishing rig. Now, I think that would be pretty cool. I think, you know, you could do it, use bow fishing, you know, better than you could just if you wanted to hunt. I think you could get bow fishing with this and then use, you know, the, the maybe the pro pouch or something for hunting and just use maybe the arrows for target practice and stuff like that. So I think that would be pretty cool. So anyway, you know, Christmas is coming up. I think it'd be a cool little Christmas gift, you know, for, you know, a, a, you know, one of your kids or, or an adult if, if you're in the, you know, shooting and having fun. So I think it's a cool little thing. As you can see, probably tell right down here on the bottom, it does have a, like a Picatinny rail right here on the bottom. So they do have a, a little light, uh, like a weapons light that attaches there. So if you want to shoot this thing in the dark, you can. I actually have mine. The one they sent with me, it's actually upstairs uh, attached to one of my guns because it makes a perfect little light and it's like 500 lumens. So, I don't know if you can tell right here, this is, you know, made in the USA, which is kind of cool. So very neat there. Very well constructed, I think, you know, again, I, I thought that it was going to be really gimmicky. And when I originally saw, saw it, I, 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 you know, when they originally came out, I said, oh, that, that's just crap. But I think it's kind of neat. You know, I don't think it's... You know, it's like with anything, you got to get out for yourself and, and try it out and test it out and make your own decisions and your own judgments and you know, not based on everybody else's. So anyway, I've kind of rambled on enough, folks. So thanks, folks, for watching. Um, get outside, get outdoors. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram. I'll post a lot of pictures on Instagram before I post them anywhere else, uh, as well as Facebook. You know, click the links down below to help support the channel. They really help support the channel, you know, Amazon and whatnot. So again, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in another video real soon.